pretty nice little southern magnolia here. I think this one's a little gem. It's got much smaller leaves and kind of a nice brown color. I don't think it's Bracken's brown. This is definitely one of the dwarf types and it is getting close to full size. I'd say that's somewhere between 15 and 20 feet and these get about 25 at this size. So that's why they kind of have it in their display garden here, but really nice dark brown to the underside of the leaves. Sorry, that's just the sprinklers. It's been so dry here. They're watering the plants, if you can believe it. Um, but yeah, this is a real nice size. And this is actually, I mean, you can tell this one's been here for a while because look at the moss that's growing on it. It's got some uh, seed pods. And right there. So it's just a really great broadleaf evergreen tree. You can grow this into zone seven. Uh, I think even into zone six, high end of zone six. Southern Zone 6, let's call it. So this is actually what my street trees will look like in about 10 years, which will be really nice. Great trees, they do really well here. Um, you do see big ones, um, kind of like just the standard variety. There are a few huge old ones around, but not too, too many. Uh, see them over 50 feet in this area is, is uncommon. But uh, the, yeah, this is a real nice one here. The only thing I am surprised is, is the moss on the bark. We get this on a lot of trees. Uh, ones that shed their bark, kind of like that, some of the conifers and stuff, they, because they, the bark kind of sloughs off, this doesn't develop, but I guess these guys, you know, because they don't. So I'll be expecting this on my trees in a few years. Thanks for watching.